All right, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Sarah. I'm a physical therapist with NovaCare, and welcome to our second strengthening session. Uh, I'd like to start off every class with a quote, and today's quote is today's struggle is tomorrow's strength. Hashtag who's your PT. All right, so we're gonna get started. We always start with a little warm up, so we're gonna do a dynamic warm up similar to what we did last class. So you don't really need equipment. Again, if you have weights handy or bands, keep them there. Um, you can progress the exercises with them. I'm not going to use weights, so I don't expect you guys to. And if you have a yoga mat and water handy, you should be good to go. All right, so just stand in place, go ahead and grab your knee and pull it to your chest. There we go. Warming up the legs a little bit. And good. The next one I like is when you grab your ankle, pull it midline, and then switch hands. You should feel that stretch in your quad, kind of all up in here. If you find when you pull your leg, you're pulling it to the side, like I just did, pull it to center, and then bring it down. And good. All right, and then the kicks. Remember these from last time? Keeping your legs straight, kicking forward, and hitting with your opposite hand. There you go. And good. All right, so that is our warm up for today. What we're going to do is we have one, two, three, four different sections. We're going to try to get to all four today if we can. The first one, we're going to start on the floor and some high plank shoulder taps. So you grab a yoga mat, you guys, and go ahead and get on the floor. All right. So there are modifications. If a high plank meaning this is too hard for you to get into position for, you could drop to your knees. That's totally fine. You could even drop to your elbows. Okay, but the way I'm going to show it is from a high position. So I'm just setting my watch for 30 seconds and then I'll demonstrate what we're going to do. So from here, without shifting, you're going to try to tap your shoulder and down. Tap your shoulder and down. Okay, everyone ready? All right, let me hit my timer for 30 and let's go. Core nice and tight. Hands directly under your shoulders. The further your feet are width-wise, the easier it will be. Some kind of in the middle. There you go. This is really hard to do. You guys are doing a good job. Keep your back flat. Almost there. And 30. Whew. Take a break. All right, so while we're on the floor, we're gonna do push-ups next. So again, you could do regular push-up from here. I do them from my knees. Have a cushion, pillow something underneath your knees if it's gonna bother it. Okay, we're gonna do them again for 30 seconds. So everyone go ahead, get in position. And timer's going, so straight down and up. There we go. Back nice and flat. Don't kick that butt in the air. Don't drop it down. There we go. Good job, everyone. Almost at the 30 and we're there. All right. So our last one for this circuit, we're going to stand up and do some alternating forward lunges. So go ahead and clear your space again. So we did these last time. We're just going to go over it real quick. Put your hands on your hips if you want. You're going to lunge forward and then up and back. Okay, we're going to do that again for 30 seconds. And let's go. You control the depth. 
So to make it harder, you can go lower. If you can't tolerate that, that's fine. Go ahead and do a mini lunge. So if this is all you could do, totally fine. There you go. Good job, everyone. And break. All right, let's grab some water and we're going to repeat that one more time. So if you want to get ready, get your mat, throw it on the floor for now. I don't know if any of you were sore um, after my last class. I was pretty sore, um, but I did use our recovery boots and it helped a lot. Not these guys. I use our normal tech ones. So if you guys are still sore, give us a call. We can get you in them. All right, everyone on the floor when they're ready. All right, we're gonna start with a high plank shoulder taps. So go ahead and get in position. And I'm gonna hit start, okay? One, two, three, and let's go. Core nice and tight, back flat, tap the shoulders. Hands right underneath your shoulders. Mine are a bit further out and bring them back. There you go, looking good. And break. All right. Probably have to be done with that one. Um, okay, so now we have our push up. So, same position, knees or from your toes, whatever works. And we're just going to jump right into it. Ready, set, and let's go. There you go. Watch your form. This is about the time where we start to get tired and we start to see those butts in the air. So keep everything nice and tight. Good job so far. And break. All right. Last one, our lunges. All right, so clear your area again, get rid of that mat. And we're gonna do our alternating forward lunges for 30 seconds. All right, guys, here we go. Let's start the timer and go. There we go. Looking good. Watch your form. Don't let your back go forward. Back is nice and straight. All the way down if you can. And break. All right, we finished that first circuit. Grab some water, guys. All right, our second circuit is hip burners. I love strengthening the hips. It's very, very important. Um, not just for runners, just for everyone, really. So we're going to focus a lot on your glute knees, glute men. Um, we're going to do it all from the floor. So take a break, take a couple more seconds. When you're ready, get your yoga mat and get back on the floor. All right, so everyone, let's start off on our right side. We're gonna do both, but just for consistency. So I'm gonna demonstrate the first one. It's gonna be a series of three exercises, kind of done quickly. You're gonna keep your top toe point straight forward, and you're gonna lift your foot up and down. 
When you lift, you don't want your leg to come forward like that. That's cheating. We don't like that. So kind of think of keeping your ankle or your heel ladder behind your butt as you lift. Okay? So this is the line you want. The second one after that, we're doing oh, circles. So same thing, heel behind the butt, and we're gonna do clockwise circles and counterclockwise circles. And the last one are taps forward and then back without rolling our hips. Now, because it's a hip burner, we're not taking a break. We're gonna go straight through, do 20 reps of each of those, and your hips are going to be on fire. All right. So everyone get down on your right side, and then we're going to get going, okay? So this is a repetition base, not time base. So we will all try and count uh, out loud, okay? And go. Here's one, two, three. If you can't, two, lie flat. Four, five, Six, watch those toes nice and straight. Once you get tired, they're gonna to start to rotate up. Eight, nine, 10, good job. Halfway there, feel the burn. 12, 13, 14, 15, there we go. Yes, you can, keep pushing through. I think that's 18. There's 19. 20. All right, don't, don't drop that leg. Circles. That's three, four, five. Clockwise, keep going. Six, seven. They're many circles, okay? Keep those toes forward. 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I feel the burn. 17, 18, 19, 20. Reverse. One, two, keep it up there. Yes, you can. Keep going, you guys. Keep going. I know, I'm shaky. I, oh my God, I'm on fire, right? All up in here. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Last one, taps forward, up and back. Do not roll your hips. Keep your hips straight up. Don't let them fall forward like that. Good, each one counts as one. So we'll count that as six. Seven, good job guys. Eight, nine, ho, ho, ho. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Slow and controlled. Try to keep up with me with my pace. <laughs> 19 and 20. Oh yeah, take a break. Woo. Oh, I feel great. I don't know about you guys, but this is on fire. So we're going to repeat that entire sequence on your other side. So now you're going to lay on your left side and we're going to work the right hip, okay? All right. So go ahead and lay flat if you can. Remember, we're stacking the hips. Your um, heel, you're going to try and keep behind your butt as you do the lifts. And we're going to start with a straight up and down one, okay? So go ahead, lay flat, and let's go. There's one. You got to get all the way to 20 again. You'll eventually thank me. Maybe not today. <laughs> Maybe when you go run your three miles, you don't have hip pain. We'll see. That's six, seven. I already feel this one in this hip. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Yes, you can. Keep pushing through it. 16, 17. Keep that leg back. 19, 20. Circle time. So let's go clockwise. 20. Keep the knee straight. I don't want to see any of the bending of the knee here. There we go. That's about 10. I know my counting, I, I don't really count well, but I know how to count, I promise. <laughs> Five more, three, two, one, reverse. Don't worry, it's only one round of these. I was thinking of doing two rounds, but I, I, 
I don't know if I can handle that. So we'll skip that and we'll do it next time. So 11. 15, keep it up, come on, 16, 17, 18, 19, toes forward, 20, taps, up and back, woo, -hoo -hoo, feel the bird, up and back, keep that toe forward and try not to roll your hips, you can use your front hand to stabilize, that's okay with this one, watch my toes, they're not up, they're straight forward, then I lost count because I'm talking too much, so let's do um. Six more. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good job, guys. Grab some water. Whew. But I know our hips are on fire. Everyone knows how I love hips and abs. So what I have next in the same uh, circuit is side planks. So that's what we're gonna do next. So take your time, get ready. I'll demonstrate the side planks real quick. Okay. I'll demonstrate it, right? <laughs> so when you do a side plank, you could do it from your knees and you lift up. This hand could walk towards the sky, it could come here, whatever's comfortable. That'll be easier then doing a stacked side plank from here, okay? These are gonna be hard, especially because we just did the hip burners. Try to do the best you can, okay? So everyone get back on the floor and get on your mat. We're gonna do these for 30 seconds and we're just gonna do one on each side, okay? All right, so I'm on my right side. You guys can be on any side you want. And I'm going to hit my timer, so go ahead and let's lift up. There we go. Keep your elbow directly under your shoulder. I'm already shaking because my hips. <laughs> there you go. Straight forward. You guys are doing really, really good. This is a hard exercise. Keep the hips up. Don't dip them down. Nice straight line. Oh, don't roll back either. I'm sorry to roll back. Good, great. Woo. All right, flip over, other side. All right, get in the position if you're gonna do the knees, knees, ankles, ankles. And get my timer going. And go ahead and lift up. Elbows underneath that shoulder. Legs are straight, looking good. Play around with your top hand. I like it like this, but you could go here. Don't put it down, so then you rotate forward. I don't want that. There you go, almost there. And we're there, good job. All right, we are officially done with that circuit. Take a break, grab some water. All right, we got our next one's on the floor too, sorry guys. Grab your yoga mat. <clears throat> so we're gonna continue with core next. And what we're going to do is a dead bug. So let me show you what that is. <clears throat> so you're going to lay flat. Everyone has this normal curve in their back. You have to keep that flat. So you have to tilt down to flatten that out. Legs are up at 90 degrees. Arms are up. And you can do one of two things. So the easier version is opposite uh, foot and arm go back with the knee bent. Okay, harder version is you straighten it out, hover, don't touch, just hover and come back. Hover and come back, all right? So everyone go ahead, get down on the floor. 
I'm probably going to do a variety of both. I'm having some pit pain, um, not related to the pit burner, something else. And we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Just remember to keep that back flat, okay? All right, I'm going to start my timer. And go. Nice flat back. There we go, guys. Strong core is the basis for everything. Good. If you're doing the straight leg, don't let your back arch. And break. Good job. All right, Russian twist. This I'm sure a lot of you have done already. So again, you can do one of two ways. Easier way, keep your uh, heels on the ground. You're gonna tilt back, but your back is straight. And you're just gonna twist one side or the other. This is where if you have weight, it might come in handy. Because you could just hold the weight as you twist to give you a little more resistance. The harder one is your feet come up and you twist that way. Okay, so you're gonna do it for 30 seconds. So everyone go ahead and get in position. And back is straight and let's twist it. Good. Good. Good, easy, hard weight does not matter. You're still working. There you go, guys, good. You shouldn't have back pain with this. If you do, it's because you're probably slouching and not keeping your back straight. And break. All right, elevator planks. Love these. So, you're gonna start from a low plank. From a low plank, then you're gonna push up to a high plank and then come back down below. The modification of that is from your knees. You can do that way too. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds and then we'll repeat this circuit, okay? All right, everyone, timer's going. Keep the hands underneath your shoulders. Keep your back flat. Try and alternate which arm lifts you and brings you down. Good job. This is a hard one. Almost there. And break. Whew. All right, guys, let's repeat this circuit real quick. We have dead bugs, so go ahead and flip back over. How are you feeling? Tough. You're doing good though. All right, so everyone down on your back. And legs up in the air. And here we go. Keep that back flat. Good job, everyone. There we go. Good job. Almost there. And break. Awesome, awesome job. All right. Two more activities that we're going to stretch and we'll be done. Okay, so you can do it. So we're going to do our Russian twist. So everyone get into position. Again, heels down or up, whatever you want. I'm gonna keep them down. And let's go. Twist it, pause in the center, and go the other way. You should be going very slow with this. Slow and controlled. There we go. Thank you. 
Almost there. And break. All right, last one. Everyone's favorite, I notice, elevator planks. 30 seconds of these seem like, oh, what, 10 hours? All right, so everyone get in position. Your knees or your toes does not matter. And here we go. Keep that back flat, okay? Almost there, guys. Hands underneath your shoulders when you push up. And break. All right. Congratulations. We are done with exercises. Grab some water. We are going to stretch, but take a short break. All right, so when you're ready, sit back on the floor and do a hamstring stretch. So kick out one leg, you can tuck the other leg in, and all you're going to do is reach forward to your toe. Just going to hold it there for a little bit. There we go. I'll post a video of this on my uh, Facebook page if you guys want to come back to it later. But if you have any questions or need help, have any pain, discomfort, just let me know. Shoot me a message on there on Instagram. You can email me, sdayyat at nobucare.com. I'll be happy to help you guys with whatever you need. There you go. Good job. Good. Now straight out one leg, cross the other, and then you're just going to rotate slightly like this, okay? Good, let's switch it up. Cross. There we go, guys, almost there, almost done. All right, and then let's do a child's pose to kind of end it out. So on your knees. And we're just going to kind of reach forward, okay? If you want to play with the angles, reach different ways. All right. Great job, everyone. That's all that I had for you, but we'll be back here um, same time next week for some new exercises and hopefully we can see all of you guys there. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thanks guys, bye Eric. Hi Sarah, good to see you.